Hello everyone, welcome to my kitchen. My name is Michael and today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make self-rising flour out of all-purpose flour. Self-rising flour is not something that I typically buy because it's really easy to make and I don't have a lot of recipes that use it, but I do have one coming up that I'm going to be using and it did uh, ask for a self-rising flour. So I'm going to put that together for you tonight and show you how that works. So how that works is for every cup of all-purpose flour you have, you use one and a half teaspoons of bacon powder, not bacon soda, but bacon powder, and then a quarter teaspoon of salt. I've already got the salt measured out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure out my one cup of all-purpose flour. All right, here's our one cup of all-purpose flour, and I'm going to put that into my bowl here. And then I'm going to add the one quarter teaspoon of salt that I've already got measured out. And then I'm going to take my baking powder. And the lid on these is kind of cool because it's got a little uh, slot here on the back that you can uh, tap it off on. So we'll get one and a half teaspoons of that. And we'll add that in there. Now we're going to sift it. So I'm going to take a whisk first and I'm going to whisk the ingredients together to kind of get them started. And you might have a sifter. I've got one of these I've had forever. This is an old timey one. And uh, I'm sure they still make these things, but you just crank the handle on it and it will sift the flour. If you've got one of these, this works, also, this works just as well. And I'm going to be using a, uh, a strainer that I've got here. So right now I've got a piece of parchment paper just on this wooden block here that I was going to show you how this works. And we're going to take this and I'm going to pour the flour into the sifter. And we're going to sift it out on this paper. And we'll make sure we get all the little hard pieces out of it. And there's a few in there that don't look like they're going to be coming out. So... I'm going to pour those off to the side. We'll take our paper and we will put the flour back in the bowl. And I'm going to repeat the process a couple more times. So it's as easy as that to do that, uh, to get uh, the, your flour sifted and get all the ingredients all mixed together. So definitely give this a try. It's very easy to make and uh, you don't really have to buy self-rising flour. You can make it out of all-purpose flour and cut down on, you know, having so much around the house that you might not uh, be needing a lot of in the, in the future anyway. So if you like this video, check out one of these other videos over here. Like, share, and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you in my next one. Take care. Bye-bye now.